Do you rent or do you own? Well, I rent. How much is your rent per month? About 5,000. Y'all wanna check it out? Come on, let's take a look. All right, so when I first came into the spot, I had to have the entryway bussing. So I got a nice gold mirror with two little accent lights on them. A console over here so that, you know what, you can put your shoes in there, put a little magazine in there so you can read, but there's definitely no shoes allowed in the house. You wanna make sure that you have a little foliage, something that makes it feel a little bit more natural. Little Versace keys right here, which are like fly, right? And the painting here is just another little statement piece. So something to when you first come in to give you that wow factor. So my apartment is inspired by luxury and the hotel, it's like I live in a hotel. See what I like about this apartment, it has like a long kind of like romantic, mysterious, surprising walkway. So I like art on my walls and I like art that speaks to me. And this is a piece by, I don't know, I'm gonna put his name in here below, but this one is called Moneyball. Basically it is what it is. It's like a literal interpretation of a money and a ball. I do my thermostat to where I can control it by my voice. So I got the nice rose gold one over here. So when you touch it, it's like, ooh, he got a luxury thermostat? Stop it. As we get to the end of the hall, we have a nice mirror. And again, if you'll notice throughout the apartment, I have a lot of cherry wood accents going on with gold. But I have a nice little, you know, stand area with a nice Gucci book, you know, cause Gucci is, you know, my, my place is luxury. I'm giving luxury vibes throughout the apartment. It just gives a little bit of, little bit of elegance to the place. All right, now let's check out the bathroom, guys. So I have two bathrooms. This is a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. The guest bathroom, you know, so this is like where all my, if I have family visiting, they'll use this bathroom. Or if I have friends come over, they use this bathroom so they don't have to go in my bedroom. I like having two bathrooms. So I got a nice balance of like wood and like stone and uh, it really feels like a spa. And Hermes painting can never hurt, you know, add a little bit of luxury touch to my bathroom, you feel me? And then this towel rack that I have over here, roll towels, y'all, I'm telling y'all, when you roll your towels up, it's giving spa, it's giving five star luxury. Oh, it just smells like wealth. Now, welcome to Mr. Lewis's Lux infamous bedroom where the magic happens. Actually, I ain't been having a lot of magic lately, so if you're trying to have some magic, slide in the DMs, comment below. But yeah, this is my bedroom, this is my sanctuary. I actually don't allow a lot of people in my bedroom, even family members and everything. I keep the door closed, I'm very private. I like to keep the energy, you know, sacred. Um, but yeah, the bedroom, I, got, I just got a queen size, so I didn't do anything too crazy. Come on, it's like a corner window, so it's a lot of natural light. The headboard, it kind of reminded me of like a Parisian, like tufted quilted headboard. I really love these two metallic chrome lamps that I have beside my bed. And these two side tables were a nice addition to the room because they were all white, but they have a nice wooden paneling on the front of them. So the dresser, again, is white wood. And I usually store like my underwear in here, my Versace underwear, what I got up in here. You know, I, you know, I stay with the Versace, you know what I'm saying? Everything Versace. I really enjoy this glass and gold side table here it's really narrow so it's the perfect fit in between my bed and and the wall flowers which i love to have in my room youtube shout out to youtube for the hundred thousand dollar plaque i remember when i was a kid and i used to see people with this i was like damn they made it this is equivalent to like getting a platinum album to me so shout out to youtube shout out to all hundred thousand of you guys i usually put my leftover change or my rings or my jewelry from the night before you had your date over last night right you might have drooled on your pillow a little bit Nasty, you don't want them to smell that when they lean over. Ooh, so that's why you grab your pillow mist. <laughs> My best friend, boom, you hit him with the pillow mist like, booyaka, booyaka, bam! Pillow smelling like roses and lavender. $75 for the pillow mist. Got the nice orange love seat. You know, this actually swivels too. You know, the boss chair. You know, once you've made it in life, you have to have a nice luxury gold sunburst mirror. This bookshelf is actually inspired by the London Hotel in New York. I think it's called the Conrad now. But they had some really cool little knickknacks above their TV stand. So I really like this little piece here. So I stole that idea from them. Ultimate sneaker book, you already know that's like the hype beast sneaker book. I got some Louis Vuitton travel books here and just some little knickknacks throughout the space just to give it a little bit of character, a little bit of personality. So we're gonna actually head into my bathroom right now. This one actually slides. And welcome to the master spa. Now I love having my own private bathroom separate from the guests cause you know, I could blow this one up and nobody has to care. This one could be dirty every now and then, which it never really is, but if I don't want it to look as presentable, I don't have to, because it's my personal bathroom. I wash my face in this sink on Monday, I wash my face in this sink on Tuesday. You feel me? I just alternate. I had to have all my little accoutrements that you would have at any hotel that you went into. So, of course, I have my Q-tips, my, uh, my floss, soap dispensers and lotion dispensers, these orange ones. I think I stole these from a fancy restaurant. <laughs> this lion head is so aggressive. It's so like, and I'm a Leo. So I think that's why my mother got me this for my birthday. So shout out to my mother. So, you know, it's nice to look at yourself. Especially some of your photos. Alexa, shut up. 
it's nice too to have some photos of yourself, especially when I was a little bit thinner, thinner and younger, you know? The shower, oh my gosh. The shower for me, every time I take a shower in here, it's like a spa day, right? I bought a nice red cherry wood chair that you guys should sit down in there. You know? And then I also bought these custom like bamboo and metal storage racks because you can never have enough space. So I bought the one that goes over the shower head and I got my, my fancy Creed, you know, Creed. These are like $100 a pop. I got like, what, six of them in here? That's like $600 of body wash. Step your game up, buddy. I had this about a year and a half. It's about time for me to get another one. But yeah, so I got the robe and then I also got the matching towel. The robe's like $800. Towel, the beach towel is like 300. This one's like 200. Slippers like a buck 50, you know what I'm saying? $2,000 in Versace towels, B. We're gonna step into my kitchen now. So this is my kitchen. It's huge. It's so much space for me to move around and prepare all the stuff that I like. It came with a microwave. Everything is stainless steel. I feel like Emerald Lagasse. I feel like Chef Ramsay. Salt cellar, right? My kosher salt, right? And then I have my sea salt. <laughs> So because I had such like an open concept kitchen, I had a bunch of open space in the middle of my kitchen that I didn't know what to do with. I've always wanted one of those islands, you know, where you could chop up stuff. This cutting board is probably one of my favorite things in the whole house. First of all, it's like cherry wood. It's thick, so it's a nice, big, thick cutting board. So I didn't really need a big old dining room table. So I opted for a smaller dining room table, like a two set, but it could fit four. If I wanted to pull up some more chairs, this comes out and this actually folds down so I can make it smaller or I can make it bigger. I love these chairs because they have a tall back and they're wide, so you know, they're very comfortable. When you sit in them, you feel like you're going to eat at like a five-star restaurant or something. So, so this is where the actual magic happens. This is where I make all my money. This is where I make all my millions and millions and billions of dollars, you feel me? But yeah, no, this computer has been put in the work. This is actually one of my favorite art pieces right here. I forget the name of it. I think it's called The Businessman. But this just reminds me of myself. This guy, he ain't got time for nothing. He's on the phone. He's got a briefcase. He's got the newspaper, another newspaper over here, the stock market over here, a cell phone. And then he's got some money hanging out of his pocket right there. He's not playing, he's getting to the bag. Now, this is the this is like the wow moment. When you walk into my apartment, you make it down the hallway, you make it past the kitchen, you come into this huge living room with the wraparound windows. I mean, this view, it's not that amazing, I ain't gonna be 100, I'm gonna be 100 with you. The view is not that amazing, because I live on a lower floor. Just the fact that I have all wraparound glass just makes the space feel so much bigger. My patio is huge, I'm gonna show you guys that as well. But yeah, this is my space. I chose this couch, I think I got this couch from Wayfair, and um, I really love the design aspect of it, but it's not that functional because it's not that comfortable. So I'm probably gonna end up getting another couch. The white shag rug is giving me Austin Powers vibes. It's giving me 1970 shag rug, you know what I'm saying? Listen, again, if you got money, you got an Hermes throw. If you got real money, you got the pillows to match, you know what I'm saying? So this area here is where I keep like, you know, a little bit of like my bar stuff. I don't really have too much alcoholic drinks because I don't really drink that much. I'm more of a <coughs> smoker, you know what I mean? But this is, that, this is that Louis XIII bottle that I got from the bar that other day. Crystal, baby, I keep that here. I have some really nice Versace glasses. I think these were like $250 a piece, you know, 500, I don't know, maybe 250 for the set. But this bar cart, again, it's gold and it's mirrored and I think I got this from Amazon, but I will link everything below, I told you guys. I don't really use this coffee area over here, it's more of like decoration, but if I ever wanna do like a slow brew or whatever, or like a pour over, I'll take this and I'll, you know, do the whole little setup. It take too long for me, I, I'd rather use a regular pot. I just got a regular flat screen TV, I think I got this from Amazon, but I think this may be like a 40 inch. But this console, it's very basic, right? So I chose this on purpose. I chose a nice cream colored console because I wanted to use the books that I have in there to have the pops of color. I have my David LaChapelle photography book. Of course, you know, I got the Rihanna. So I really like succulents because they give like that modern vibe and it still gets the greenery in there. And I actually just bought this Loewe candle the other day. Yes, it's pronounced Loewe. Luscious pea. Garden, fresh greenery and like citrusy. This candle is like a hundred bucks. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta have nice candles. I'm gonna come out with a candle line. Would y'all buy it? All right, so this is my patio. It's actually really huge. It's super long and I need to put more furniture on it. But so far I just have these two chairs, like one little seating area over here and another seating area over here. But yeah, that's my patio. All right, so this is my closet, my walk-in closet that I was telling you guys about. This were all my designer bags and I probably have about a hundred or hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of merchandise up in here. Come on, let's take a look. Of course, if I have that much money in there, it's gotta be like CIA, NASA security type level. Let's see, let's see how we can get in. Hmm. No, you're not getting that. Fingerprint, baby. Here we go. Ooh, all right, come on, let's take a look inside. Sorry! Next video, baby. Like, comment, and subscribe. I need a million views on this one first. Then I got you. Thank you guys for checking out my apartment. 
a lot of y'all was telling me that I live at home with my mama, or I was living in the projects, or I live in a hotel, or I ain't got no money, or I live in a hood. No, I don't. I'm really living this. This really me. And you could do it too. If you stop hating. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell up out of here.